The list of extinct species is a long and depressing one, which makes the news our Connor Knighton is here to report all the more exciting. 17 years ago, while floating through this spooky swamp in Arkansas, Tim Gallagher and Bobby Harrison saw a ghost. Like, Neither one of us knew what we were looking at, and we'd been birding all of our lives. It turned up on edge, and you could see those white trailing edges of the wing. That's when you knew? Oh. Just locked that, in. We were both locked in. <laughs> we both yelled, <laughs> ivory bill. The ivory-billed woodpecker was thought to be totally extinct, gone, dead forever. The last good film of one was made back in the 1930s. And yet, Gallagher and Harrison were sure that was the bird they'd seen. We saw an ivory bill. It's a lifer for me. For me too. <laughs> well, welcome to the Sasquatch Club, gentlemen. <laughs> what did they feel like to finally see one? Real emotional. Yeah. Even now. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. about it, yeah. you know? The men had traveled to Arkansas after kayaker Gene Sparling had reported seeing an ivory bill in the same spot a few days earlier. Once Gallagher saw one with his own eyes, he convinced his colleagues at Cornell University to conduct a massive search, a search that eventually led to this bit of blurriness. That out-of-focus footage was enough to set off a media firestorm. The Ivory Bill's resurrection is an amazing story. 60 Minutes did a feature on the rediscovery. Sunday morning sent Steve Hartman down to Arkansas to get an ivory billed haircut. Isn't he pretty? The bird was back. I cannot think of a single time we have ever found a species once thought extinct and now found to be in existence. But it turns out the rediscovery of an allegedly extinct creature actually happens more often than you might guess. While species are disappearing at an unprecedented rate, a handful have reappeared. Animals mistakenly thought to have been killed off, like the Bavarian pine vole and the Lord Howe Island stick insect, are all known as Lazarus taxon. In the Bible, Lazarus came back from the dead. When you declare something extinct, that's almost like a challenge to people. Okay, we're now going to go and find this thing, prove you wrong. Craig Hilton Taylor is in charge of the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, the most comprehensive species status list in the world. With categories ranging from least concern to vulnerable to critically endangered to extinct, it's that last category that's always hardest to pin down. Trying to determine that fact is really, really hard to actually know when that final individual has disappeared. Yeah, it seems like endangered there's a range. Extinct is, is very binary. You're, you're either extinct or you're not. Exactly. Yes, it's there or not. And uh, it, it requires lots of gathering of, of evidence, negative evidence over a long period of time. Ultimately, extinction ends up being an educated guess. We're pretty confident stegosauruses aren't still running around Colorado, but when it comes to smaller, more elusive creatures, well... There's a big world out there and there are a lot of places to hide. Biologist Forrest Galante has made a career out of searching for these lost species. Every single year, as many as 2,000 species are deemed extinct worldwide. Each episode of his animal planet show, Extinct or Alive, focuses on a creature presumed to be long gone. What I'm doing is making a meat tree. <laughs> if there's a leopard here, hopefully with enough meat, it's going to smell it. While most episodes end without concrete proof of an animal's existence, in the Galapagos Islands, a promising piece of poop <laughs> This is tortoise scat right here! led Galante and local experts to the rediscovery of the Fernandina giant tortoise. We found her! <laughs> to hold this extinct species that the world hadn't seen for 114 years, like, I'm still not sure if it's real. I think it might have been a dream to this day. Like, I can't believe that we found this thing. Modern technology has made searching for species easier. But discovering evidence of an extinct animal doesn't always involve mounting an expansive international expedition. Sometimes you need look no further than your own backyard. Here was this animal dead on his back porch. And he picked it up and he looked at it and he didn't know what it was. In 1981, 
a dog belonging to Matitsi, Wyoming rancher John Hogg dragged home a supposedly extinct black-footed ferret. When John's wife Lucille wanted to get the animal stuffed, their taxidermist realized it was something special. And how fortuitous, what a great story, what a, what a chance to bring a species back from the brink of extinction. Kimberly Frazier works with the Black-Footed Ferret Recovery Program. Thanks to that one dead ferret on a porch, scientists discovered a tiny group of them still alive in Wyoming. They were rounded up and put in captive breeding programs. Thousands of black-footed ferrets have been released back into the wild. I think it's a great example of people coming together and doing the right thing. We definitely have hope, hope for the future. We are in the middle of a human-caused extinction crisis. Reintroducing a species is a rare chance to right a past wrong. We were just about 20 feet further down. Back in the swamps of Arkansas, it's been over a decade and a half since Tim Gallagher's ivory-billed woodpecker sighting. Have you ever seen one since? I have not. Yeah. Despite all of that initial excitement, the woodpeckers have remained elusive. Stylist Penny Childs still holds on to her collection of memorabilia. Although, it's been ages since anyone's asked her for a woodpecker haircut. Once the word broke, then everybody came. And if he was there, good night. You know, I would have left too. I mean, the woods was just crawling with people. I mean, it was just crazy. Maybe the woodpecker got scared and flew the coop. Maybe Gallagher and Harrison saw the very last one. Maybe they were mistaken and didn't see one at all. But the men have come back to search together dozens of times. It's all on their own dime now. Nobody is paying for this quest. They feel an indisputable sighting of an ivory-billed woodpecker, a crystal clear picture, would mean more than bragging rights. It could lead to habitat conservation that would help revitalize the species. And you know, the world's in pretty bad shape right now. We're losing birds, we're losing habitat. And I think if we could actually get the proof of this bird, uh, it would really spur a new conservation era. It's really a symbol of what's been lost. And yet, every once in a while, what's been lost can be found again. It's possible the ivory-billed woodpecker is indeed extinct. But for now, in this forest of tupelo trees, they're still keeping hope alive.